This is the nice blue bus photo eye, there's one side of it, and we're going to wire this up to the new Smart Connects controller. I have the wires going into this junction box, and I have the photo eye is mounted to the junction box. This is the inside of the blue bus photo eye, and you can see that I've already mounted it to the cover plate for the junction box. So I have just two screws here, they're self-tapping screws that go through and screw it down to the back side. And I've knocked out the, the knockout hole here that goes through the back side of the photo eye. And I've drilled a hole in the cover plate that matches the location of that just using a step drill. And so the cover plate, you can see the screws coming through the back side of the cover plate there. And it has a nice foam seal. This gives it a nice weather protection when everything's all put together. And when the wires are run, we'll seal this up with a little silicone. So to start with, I have this little six inch section of wire, it's, it's two wire twisted pair, and I've crimped on a couple of straight through connectors on one end of it, and stripped the other ends bare, and connect that to the photo eye, so just going to feed it through the hole on the back, and I'm going to run the wires into these terminals. At this point, I'd probably throw a little silicone on there, close that hole up. So I've pulled my wires into my junction box. I have one side of the connectors here, the other side of the connectors there. I'm just gonna hook those up and screw the cover plate onto the junction box. All right, finish that up. Next, we put the cover plate on. That goes, oops, upside down. It goes this way. And then the cover plate just snaps on. So I've got my two photo eye segments put together, and I've run the wires to my gate operator right here. I have them routed around the back, and we're gonna plug them in here to the blue bus port on the Smart Connects controller. So I'm gonna pull this little connector out, and I'm gonna put the wires in to one side. And at this point, I don't know what's red and what's black, but it just doesn't matter, because with blue bus, it's just polarity agnostic, so you can connect the two black wires to either side, you can connect the two red wires to either side, and you can mix them up. You can connect one red and one black. I don't know why you would do that, but you certainly could, and the, the thing just wouldn't care. It just wouldn't care. So let's get, plug that in. So we power it up, and let the Smart Connects controller boot up. Now you're Controller may already be set up to look for blue bus photo eyes, but let's just go through and manually scan for the blue bus devices. So to do that, we're going to hit menu, and then we're going to hit the, one of the arrow keys until we see external communications, because the blue bus is on the external communications. There we are. We're going to hit select. We're going to hit the arrow keys until we see blue bus. That's Bluetooth there's blue bus. And we're going to hit select. And it says none. So it's not configured for a blue bus photo eye. So let's scan for blue bus devices. So we're going to hit the arrow key. Scan for devices. Hit select. Use the arrow key to turn off to on. Hit select. Now it's going to scan for a blue bus device. and it recognized now that it has a photo eye closed connected to it. It knows it's a photo eye closed because the jumpers on the photo eye are set to photo eye closed. So it just automatically detects that and it's all configured and ready to go. So we hit back. I close and I'm just gonna break the beam real quick. So it reverses back to opening.